Good evening, Professor. This is Bernard Townsend. I'll be briefing my presentation for the externship summary uh, for Unit 10, Assignment 1. Uh, so the first question here is um, the intended learning objectives. Um, my ultimate goal, as it shows here, was uh, determined exactly what I wanted to be in IT. Uh, basically, what, what discipline uh, did I want to focus on? Um, and that's where uh, I chose my current supervisor. And pretty much a lot of uh, professionals I work with uh, are in this has this certification um, in terms of uh, IT management, security of computer networks. Uh, so uh, after talking with him and other uh, professionals that I work with, uh, I decided to go the route of uh, CISSP. Uh, so uh, this, this internship kind of pushed me toward that a little bit more. Um, I don't know how, because uh, we pretty much do the same thing. Uh, he's in a different command, a different service, uh, but we work in the same building. Uh, so I think just talking with him more uh, and some other CISP folks that have been in this industry for decades more than I have, uh, being service members prior and um, also serving as government workers now. Uh, learning tasks and strategies. Um, Working closely with my supervisor and his staff allowed me to get a uh, different perspective on IT. Uh, even though we, we do the same thing, they obviously have a different network structure than the Marine Corps um, and different background and, and knowledge. I never claim to know everything. So I, I, uh, I relish the opportunity to work with those at different levels and experience than I have. It could be switch, switching, networking, hardware, software, enterprise level, uh, WAN, LAN, uh, VM, um, and, and so on and so on. But like I had stated at the beginning, I wanted to get a more understanding of how to budget uh, for a, a network and a little bit more. Um, I, I kind of got it down for the military, uh, but I wanted to kind of try to get an idea of what it would be for the uh, civilian sector, corporate sector. The, ev the evaluation and validation, how can these items be evaluated and do the, these experiences translate to new material uh, to place in your LinkedIn? So LinkedIn, I've had that uh, created many years well before, uh, uh, while about midway through my journey here in, in my education, I created a LinkedIn account, uh, thinking it was because of one of my classes um, or not. But either way, I've, I've had it for a few years now, probably five to seven years. Um, and I've created a lot of uh, friends, uh, network professionals as well. Um, and most of them obviously are, are prime military that have served under me. Um, and now they are civilians in different sectors of the corporate world and some work for the government. Uh, I did not uh, have a resume. Uh, I, I do have one now, um, and I intend to put it up there. Um, I keep uh, hesitating because I want to get it kind of perfect, and it's rather large. Uh, it's pretty large uh, in terms of page count, uh, so I, I want to kind of reduce it while at the same time try to uh, include the most important stuff. Uh, and like, like I said before, uh, my resume is pretty, pretty large in page count, uh, mainly because of, of my military history. Uh, I can reduce it um, and get rid of a lot of the unnecessary stuff that doesn't really pertain or an employer really doesn't care about um, from a non-military standpoint. Um, and it's still valid. It depends on who, if that person was prior, they know, okay, this translates to uh, civilian sector, just in a different category. Um, other than that, uh, um, do I have any suggestions to continue to develop? Uh, again, I, I always look to learn more uh, as much as possible from just about anybody um, and always ask questions. So uh, I like talking to people. Um, 
in terms of I'm not afraid to approach somebody and spark up a conversation naturally. Um, uh, so uh, I, I've tried just bluntly asking the question, what do you do? Um, not to com complete strangers, but uh, say we're at a restaurant or at a party with friends um, or, or a command function where we both, or a work function, uh, kind of like a convention or something like that. Uh, that's where I would answer the, ask those questions. Um, name an adi one additional course or topic area. Um, I mean, the biggest thing, like I, I, I stated here on, on this slide, I've been a Marine for 22 years and um, in the IT uh, field as well. Um, I, I don't know everything about IT, especially about, I don't, that, I don't think that makes me an expert. It makes me successful, I would say, or a shoo-in to be successful in the corporate world. I, I think my years of managing complex situations in an austere environment um, greatly prepared me for just about anything that comes in a corporate environment um, with the, with without having bullets shot at you or being cold or hungry or sore or hurting. Um, it gives me a lot of confidence in that respect. Um, and then having challenged, uh, being challenged by uh, scenarios in in the combat situation deployed and in garrison <clears throat> in an IT specific situation, um, that's created a lot of confidence in me as well. So uh, that in itself prepared me for uh, this externship and that's about it. Overall impression, um, I think it was a good impress, uh, experience, honestly. Again, going into this, uh, I was looking forward to it. Um, I mean, I work with a lot of IT professionals. Um, so again, I've kind of been doing an externship for many years now, uh, especially when it's getting close to the end of my career. Uh, so technically I've been doing an externship for the past uh, five years, um, but uh, officially this one um, is just documenting that. And uh, yeah, I, I mean, I, I enjoyed it. Um, it. It was great, and it allowed me to see uh, what I actually am strong at and what I'm weak at, um, and what I need to work on um, and get better at. So, definitely worth it.